Beneficiaries say despite the government's promise to overhaul the welfare system, they're still struggling to make ends meet. A petition has been delivered to Jacinda Ardern's electorate office in Auckland calling for urgent changes to help lift children and whanau out of poverty. It's got the backing of a group of organisations led by Child Poverty Action who have come up with a list of simple fixes that they say could be implemented immediately. Our social issues reporter Sarah Robson has the story. We're calling on this government to respond, to make the urgent changes, to raise benefits, to get rid of the really harmful and punitive relationship sanctions and to stop punishing people for finding love. That's Renee Manella, a single mum who had to go on the benefit after her marriage ended back in 2017. She delivered the petition with almost 8,000 signatures to Jacinda Ardern's Mount Albert electorate office in a box with a red heart on it and the words welfare for wellbeing. She's working part-time now, but when she was on sole parent support, she says she was under a lot of stress. I ate less on the days that the kids were with their dad. Sometimes I just had porridge for a day. Um, This is partly because of the stress of of the the marital separation, but also because there wasn't enough. I weighed 10 kgs less then than I do now. The Child Poverty Action Group says the government needs to show leadership and do more to help families facing financial pressure. It says the changes announced so far to abatement thresholds and the indexation of benefits don't go far enough. It wants bigger increases to the amount beneficiaries can earn before their payments are docked, the removal of all sanctions and changes to the relationship rules. Hannah McGowan is a single mum of two teenagers. She's on the supported living payment, what used to be known as the invalid's benefit. I was born with a dysfunctional immune system. I have Crohn's disease, several chronic pain disorders and I struggle with mental health issues exacerbated by poverty and isolation. Hannah McGowan blames that isolation on the rules that mean someone can lose their benefit after just six weeks because they're deemed to be in a relationship in the nature of marriage. What will it take for our Prime Minister to see that while she can get married, many others are effectively banned from the same privilege simply because they were not born with perfect health? And she says the benefit just isn't enough to live on. I've seen three budget advisers and they all tell me I am doing everything right, that I am very responsible with money, but I am simply not receiving enough income to cover my basic needs. I constantly struggle to afford food and heating. Kafa Mamaya is a solo mum on the benefit. She has four kids and says school holidays, which are coming up, are particularly hard. It's another emotional part we can't afford to take my children anywhere, you know, movies or somewhere nice for them on the holidays, they deserve it. Kafa Mamaya says she has to feed her family cheap food like noodles and rice. It's not healthy. Some of our children are not well because we're eating cheap, cheap food. It's it's very, very expensive now to eat healthy. You know, food's gone up, vegetables, fruits, all of that, meat's gone up. The Social Development Minister, Carmel Cipolloni, has previously said she expects to take a three- to five-year plan for welfare reform to Cabinet before the end of the year. Mō te hōtaka o te ahi ahi, ko Sarah Robson, aho.